angry guy here, and men have finally lost their patience with women. Men have finally lost their patience with women. I've said this before and I'll say it again, nothing lasts forever. Men are at a point where they just can't deal with it anymore. They can't deal with the nonsense, the games, the total BS that we're seeing in Western society. <laughs> women have no actual modesty in modern society. You know, the only time that they claim modesty is when they're trying to basically say that, oh, we're trying to protect our modesty, so we need special privileges when we want them. You know, like, so, so for example, we should be able to dress however we want to dress it. And we're doing it for modesty reasons. But then at the same time, we should be able to dress however we want to dress it and not wear anything if we don't want to wear anything. And it's not your place to tell us what to wear. You know, it, there's a sign, you know, like you go to a, you go to bars or restaurants and there are signs that say no shoes, no shirt, no service. And a lot of, you know, people who are more maybe leading towards the left political side, they often say that this term is something that is, you know, it's the saying is a bad saying. It's aimed at people that come from a lower socioeconomic class. And it's, you know, and, and here's the, and the thing about that is what really bothers me is there are places, like I've lived in certain places, certain towns, visited certain towns where, you know, you have these types of people who will walk around with no shoes, no shirt. Like, you don't want those types of people in your establishment. You don't want, these people get picked up by the cops. Like, the cops are driving by. They see this guy walking on the street or the side of the road with no shirt on, smoking a cigarette. They're going to stop him and say, hey, what are you doing? You don't look right. You don't look right. You don't look right. You know, you can, you can, spot, you can spot troublemakers. No shoes, no shirt. That's a side. Some guy walks into your establishment, walks into a bar with no shoes, no shirt. You know there's a problem there. So civility in society is completely breaking down. Men are basically done with the nonsense, done with the games, and they're not taking it anymore, especially even in places like the gym. Yeah, what are you doing? My leg day warm up? No, don't do that bullshit. I know you know what you're doing. So actually, I'm like, you're actually trying to close. You're actually trying to close. Are you pointing at me? No. I'm fucking ridiculous. Don't come to my gym. Don't come to my gym. Don't fucking do this on my gym. Don't come to my gym. Yeah, and they think it's completely funny. Like, guys, th this is a breakdown of society. Dude was like, don't come to my gym and do this. Like, th this is inappropriate as, like, where are the owners of these gyms? This, these were, this is a male-only space. This was typically a men's space, you know? Gyms were once male-only spaces, and then women began coming into these gyms. And look at what they're doing. They're using these gyms as to film these types of terrible content that they can drag in this, you know, get involved in the simp economy and make money. That girl that went to the gym wearing only body paint, she has an only fool's lonely fans account. And of course, you know, it only made her more famous. So now more simps ran to go and pay for this garbage. Like guys, I have never ever paid for only fools and lonely fans. And I will, and I, 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 I God help me. I will never ever pay for that crap and you know what's crazy you can just google like the names of a lot of these people and find their lonely fans their only fools accounts and look at the content that they have but the sims are more than happy to pay for this stuff and guys the pictures are just just terrible like like i'm just like thinking to myself like like a lot of y'all would never make it in the adult industry not with this level of trash like like bro these pictures are so low quality like some of this stuff is just like who the heck Pays for this garbage. Oh, that's right. The simps. Only the only a simp would drive this, but that's just that's the simp economy. Like, you know, someone talked about this in one of my other videos. He made a comment, and it's so true that we need a code of conduct. We absolutely like in Western society, we badly need 
a code of conduct. Like men need a code, men need a code of conduct. Forget because you know, because the simps are running wild, they've allowed society to collapse. We need a code of conduct. Now, holding women to that standard, that's something that society has to do. You know, that's some but but before anything can go, you know, forget, you know, it's and it's hard to do because of the way Western society is, but we may not be able to hold women to a code of conduct because women don't take accountability for anything and the sims will always bail, bail them out, but we can hold men to a code of conduct. We can hold other men to a code of conduct because if you try to hold a woman to a code of conduct, they'll claim that they're just, that they're victims, but you can hold men to a code of conduct. And by holding men to a certain code of conduct, that in turn will eventually lead to women being held accountable for their actions because the major problem is right now is the sims it's 100 percent the sims the sims are the reason why our society is a mess like like guys this whole thing where you have people going to porches and taking packages off porches that don't belong to them like it's so bad right now that when the cops hear like a porch pirate is has done something the cops will literally just like are rushing out and snatching these people up because it's such it's a such a terrible crime right now. Like it's it's so bad. Laws may end up being passed very soon to like f to prosecute these people worse. Like, you know, because, oh, it's just like petty theft. Like, oh, they just stole a three dollar dog toy. Like, guys, these people are terrible. But that's like what Western society has come down to in a, in a society where. We have a code of conduct and men hold each other's each other accountable. Guys, I'm telling you right now, if it was not for women in Western society and sibs specifically, if it wasn't because our society has been so feminized that we're no longer allowed to express our masculinity, this type of thing wouldn't be happening. We, you know, for example, people snatching a package off a porch. Oh my goodness, men wouldn't tolerate this garbage. Men would not tolerate this garbage. You know, like there was a time when we could leave our doors open, not in my generation. Well, it's hard. Okay, so for example, yes, it did. There was a time in my generation where you could do it depending on where you live. There, was a, there used to be a show called Everwood. And some of you may have remembered Everwood. And there were places, and you know, it was, uh, you know, the, his name was like Gregory Brown. I, lo I loved Everwood. And unfortunately, the actor, the main, he passed away recently. He, I think it was a motorcycle accident. Oh, so sad. And I would have loved for everyone to come back. However, anyway, jumping off that for a moment, you know, there were there were places back, you know, going back 20 years where you could still leave your door open because it was safe. But this was before social media. And social media made, you know, it, made, it has made everyone crazy. And it's had a horrible effect on young women, on women in general. But, you know, there was a time where this, it wasn't just, you know, it wasn't just like in these small isolated towns, like, you know, throughout the United States, outside of, let's say the city, you can leave your door open and you would never have to worry about anything happening. The worst case scenario, you might, you might come home and you'll see like the neighbor's kid in your house and you're like, and you'll say, Timothy, what are you doing here? Um, my parents aren't home and I was hungry. Okay. I'll make you a sandwich. Okay. You know, where's your dad? I haven't seen him in a while. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying, like, it was a whole different time. And, you know, and the crazy thing is, like, back in those days, too, people were strapped also. Like, people were strapped. They had, you know, they had their pieces back then, but they didn't have to use them like that. You weren't afraid of your neighbors. You weren't afraid in your community. Like, all of this has happened, the deterioration of our society and this lawless behavior, it's all because of the way that modern women vote. You know, I mean, you let their... All, you have so much, so many bandits running wild, and the and then the men, the men that women love are these people, like the men who are destroying our society. You know these people that are running wild. You know the f boys, the thugs, the the, the Tyrones, Ray Rays, Pookies, Ponchos, little Poncho slips in and then slips out of the country. You know this is this is this is these are the people that these women love, and we in a in a society where you have masculinity and you have you know and you would have you have a code of conduct. You know, there are unspoken rules. You have a you have a code of conduct. Guys, like I, you know what's crazy? Like this this whole thing where like you know people are crying about interactions with the cops. You go to other countries, you don't ever, ever hear about you know cops like you know this, you know, using their sidearm like uh, like ever on a civilian. Like it, it just doesn't it just does not happen because and these are and they're they're able to apprehend the difference is that in America everyone's on edge. 
everyone is now on edge. Like this, this stuff never used to happen. None of this stuff ever used to happen. Like today, everyone is on edge. Police officers are on edge. Everyone is on edge because of the way society is. And a lot of it's social media. It constantly keeps you on edge. As the, ma- the mainstream media began doing this, and then social media has only made it worse. And, of course, the mainstream media has now learned how to use social media. So even though, you know, like television channels are just almost gone at this point, which is amazing, you know, it's like the, the, the network still exists. But, the, but you no longer access the network through like your TV, through your idiot box. Like, oh, I'm going to scroll to channel seven. I'm going to scroll to the net. It's more so now where you, you, you access the network's content through your Roku device or your streaming app or on YouTube. But, you know, they figured out how to, to harvest social media also to drive more, to drive more nonsense and division. But guys, in a normal society, this would not never be happening. But as you can see, men have finally lost their patience with women. And I, and truly, it's only going to continue going more so in this direction. Guys, if you're enjoying the content, help get the channel to 100,000 subscribers in our journey to a million by subscribing if you already have it, liking the video, and turning on notifications to so never miss another video ever again. Men have finally lost their patience with women. What do you guys think about this? I want to hear your thoughts. So let's talk about it in the comments. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA. Men walking away. And cheers.